All right, cellos, here's that last little part of Pixar. Sorry about that interruption between classes. <clears throat> All right, so this is back to 131. You've got a friend and me. Um, so again, no sharps or flats, four, four times, swinging your eighth notes. So making the first eighth note long, the second one short. And here we go, 131. One, two, ready, and... <laughs> Careful on your ties here, um, playing on some off beats as well. So at 140, you're changing on the and a three. I don't think I did that right. So here's 139. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. So if that was right, sorry about that. I apologize. All right, and then the measure of the fermata. So 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. 144. Make sure it's A, low one for A sharp, then regular one, B. Okay, so that's easy. Uh, and now let's go back to 135, because this is kind of the more tricky part, but it sounds really cool. Um, another way to practice this is to not swing, just play everything as straight eighth notes. So let's do that for a minute. Make sure we're counting this correctly. So no swinging. Here's 135, ready, and one. <laughs> So do that a couple times until you're used to it. Be careful again of those eighth rests. That's forcing you to play on the and of the beat. You're playing half a beat later um, and then syncopating after that. All right, so one more time. Let's try it with the swing now. Ready? And one. <laughs> counting thing to notice um, at 134, 5, 6, 7, 137, there's a tie. You're coming out of the syncopation, the measure before, but you tie through beat one, and then the next note is on beat two. It's not syncopated or on the offbeat anymore. So, two, and then you're off the beat again there. Okay, so that's the whole thing. Happy practicing.